baptism is. Baptism is done for the forgiveness of sins, Acts 2.38. Baptism is done to save us, 1 Peter 3.21, Acts 2.40, Mark 16.16. Baptism is done to wash away our sins, Acts 22.16. Baptism is done to be reborn to new life, John 3.5, Romans 6, 3 through 6. Baptism is done to clothe ourselves with Christ, Galatians 3, 26 and 27. The Acts of Paul and Thecla is an apocryphal story, one based on accounts of Jesus and his teachings, the nature of God, or the teachings of his apostles. It is not the inspired word of God. Nevertheless, we can learn some things of what the early Christian believed and taught on certain topics such as baptism. Today, though people may not see it in the same light, the fact is what is taught by Jesus and the apostles is still valid. Jesus Christ never changes, nor does his word. We see that fact in Hebrews 13 and 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. And in Revelations 22, 18 and 19. For I testify unto every man that hears the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto them the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. Let's find out about the clock. Second century Christians could also find inspiration for women in written accounts of devout believers such as Thecla. As a young woman she cancelled her engagement to a prominent noble in order to join Paul in preaching and founding churches. Thecla's courage overruled her mother's sadness at her refusal to marry. My daughter, like a spider bound at the window by that man's words, is controlled by a new desire and a terrible passion. The Acts of Paul and Thecla 9 So we see that she was a virgin who had faith in God and wanted to follow Paul the Apostle. Let's consider her words and works now. She heard Paul preach the word of God. In chapter 1 we hear Paul saying this, Blessed are they who keep their baptism pure later. Before her martyrdom, she asks Paul to grant me only the seal of Christ and no temptation shall affect me. That's in reference to baptism. To which Paul answered, Thecla, wait with patience, and you will receive the gift of Christ. This view on baptism agrees with the shepherd of Hermaeus 9, 12 through 14. The shepherd of Hermaeus of 140 AD clearly states that no one can enter into the kingdom of God unless he or she receive the name of the Son of God or Jesus in water baptism. Here's some others of that time period who held that view. Barnabas wrote in 120 that baptism led to the remission of sins. Justin Martyr wrote in 150 that baptism is in order that the person may obtain in the water the remission of sins Theophilus in 181 wrote about the blessed waters of baptism. He said we were to receive repentance and remission of sins through water and the bath of regeneration all who proceed to the truth and are born again and receive a blessing from God. And finally Clement in 191 wrote this on the subject of baptism. When we are baptized, we are enlightened. Being enlightened, we are adopted as sons adopted as sons, we are made perfect. Made perfect, we become immortal. And sons of the Most High. This work is variously called grace, illumination, perfection, and washing. It is a washing by which we are cleansed of sins, a gift of grace by which the punishments due our sins are remitted, and illumination by which we behold that holy light of salvation. The Didache written about 180, in chapter 9 says this about baptism, that one should have been baptized into the name of the Lord. Jesus is Lord of all in Acts 10, 36. Therefore baptism was to be in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now because she was thrown into the arena to be eaten by lions and other creatures before her baptism. So she prayed, and now we will read from the book of the Acts of Paul and Thecla. When she finished praying, she turned about and saw a pit of water, and said, Now is a proper time for me to be baptized. Accordingly she threw herself into the water, and said, In your name, O my Lord Jesus Christ, I am this last day baptized. Upon seeing this, the women and the people cried out and said, Do not throw yourself into the water. And the governor himself cried out to think that the sea calves were likely to devour so much beauty. Notwithstanding all this, Thecla threw herself into the water in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So because she knew the saving nature and formula of God, through the name of Jesus, she got self-baptized because she thought it was her last day. 
Now, Paul already had told to wait for her baptism, and because of circumstances, he could not, because he was thrown out of town in Thecla to the lands. Yes, though we all know that self-baptism is not valid. However, this document still proves some facts. That baptism was a requirement for salvation, and was to be done in the name of Jesus. This corresponds to Colossians 3 and 17 and Acts 4 and 12. So in summary, one should recognize that all the early Christians held to the scriptural belief that baptism was needed for salvation, as this was their view. This view correlates to the Bible that states that Jesus' name baptism is for all believers. See Acts 2 and 38, 8 and 12, 10 and 48, 19 and 5 and 22 and 16. In Mark 1 and 9, we find that Jesus himself walked 70 miles to get baptized as an example in all righteous and as our great high priest. In other words, he would not ask us to do something he did not do. So if have not done so yet, do it. Why wait? Arise and be baptized, washing away your sins in the name of the Lord Jesus. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not into your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Baptism, then what? Baptism is a burial in water for accountable beings unto the remission of sins, for salvation to get into Christ, to become a new creature, to get into the one body. Then, walk in the new life, study and grow, become a servant of righteousness, keep self pure, be an example, have faith in God, follow Jesus, put first things first, Resist temptation, be faithful, and be fruitful.